Hello and welcome to Mithu and Now, the good news program of our community. I'm your host, Michelle Houle. We're coming to you from the MCTV studios this week because that's where our top story happened. Behind the scene with Hector Montavo is proud to be a national award winner. Karen Hayden has this story. Life has its ups and downs. It has been no different for Hector Montalvo. Becoming the host of his own cable access television show has become an opportunity to make a difference. I got involved in this show and to start doing this show because of the, the way government operates. Uh, I had an incident with my child being removed from the state and the courts turned a blind eye. Um, contempt hearings would never be heard on my behalf. I would be pro it would be selective prosecution. Uh, so I decided to take a step and start bringing these type of issues out. And when I started doing this, I came to find out that I'm not the only one. This is affecting a lot of people. It's a lot, a lot of different professions. Uh, and this is why I decided to come in and start bringing these type of issues out. I decided to bring it on to television local access with the help of MTTV that provided uh, free training, uh, free training on the equipment, borrowing of the equipment, uh, and the use of the studio. And it's been very good because I've been able to bring in guests such as attorneys, candidates that are running for higher office and so on. And we start asking the type of questions that we see that's going on in the court system or within government. We all know that government is supposed to work for the people, but it doesn't usually work that way. So, Montavo credits his volunteer crew and the staff of MCTV for helping him make Behind the Scene into a national award-winning program. Behind the Scenes is not just uh, me. It's, it's a lot of people. We put all our minds together. We put all, you know, we throw ideas to each other. Um, and we all come up with, with a plan. We've been able to, to bring the viewers um, requests that they want, that shows that they want. They want to see things about how we're going to hold government accountable, what the candidates are going to do for the people, issues that affect the average Joe. Uh, so it's, an, it's a team effort, and that's what we concentrate. The Alliance for Community Media, the trade organization for local stations like MCTV, conducts a hometown media award festival each year. Behind the scene with Hector Montalvo competed against other programs created by local people who are not production professionals. It won in the category of Democracy in Action. Here's a clip of the mayoral debate from October 2011. Under your administration, will departments be allowed to solicit public feedback to identify ways to improve service to the people, and how will you encourage your departments to do that? Mr. Zani? In terms of departments, I think it's important, I said this at the outset, my feeling is all department heads should be part of this cabinet, the group that meets every single week. I want to know what their agenda is for the week. I want to know about their budget. I want to know their goals and objectives. At the mid-year point, six months in, we'll have a performance evaluation of how these, how these departments are performing. And then at the end of the year, they'll be evaluated. Not with talk, but with an actual evaluation that we'll give. And that way, the council will have an opportunity to see how each one of these department heads has done during the course of the year. We brought them in on issues that were facing the people and what people were seeing was happening in Methuen politics or in government in general. And we put all that together and we said, you know, government is for the people and why isn't government open? So we brought them in, we started asking them questions about what is their idea of open government and that won us a national award. I was very happy to learn that we won a national award, yes. Very happy. Not only for myself, the crew, and it just goes to show that, um, you know, that our credibility is respected and, and, you know, we are doing something good for the community. This is Karen Hayden reporting for Methuen Now.